So I just changed, I put on my makeup, and now I'm going to do my hair so I look somewhat presentable for the video. I figured I'd just like come on here and chat a bit. Today I'm mainly focusing on completing what I have set out for my upcoming fall launch and my pop-up. So I am doing a fall pop-up closer to the end of September, so I have to start preparing for that. Last year I did not do a fall pop-up, I only did a winter pop-up. And I honestly was not prepared at all for that. Like I was scrambling last minute and making sure it's like the night before and even the morning of the pop-up. So I don't want to go through that again. So I am making sure I set plans and I am not rushing last minute. That's why I'm starting now. And also we're coming up to like the last few days of fall. No, sorry. So we're coming up to the last few days of summer. And for one of my fall t-shirts, I do a reverse tie helps obviously when it's still sunny outside because I do all my reverse dyeing outside in my backyard so I need to do it before it starts to get cloudy or potential rain and today is pretty sunny out so that's why I want to do that today. A lot of you who know me from my Instagram page have been asking where I've been because I haven't been posting for like pretty much all of this year. I actually have just been trying to figure out what I want to do with my business and what I want to do with my own personal life. So I've been going through a lot of like self-reflection and taking a break essentially from social media. I am just not in the mood to be like posting every day and I really don't want to put out content that I don't want to put out. So that's the reason why I've been taking a break. I've honestly just been trying to work on myself more, which I'm sure a lot of you can relate to, especially if you have your own small business or just anything in general that takes up a lot of your time. But let me know like what you guys do to cope with that because I've really been going through it and I could use any advice that you guys have to give me. I decided when editing this video that I was just talking way too much here. So I'm just going to fast forward it. And pretty much what I decided to do was create a to-do list, which is here. And I started this for the day. Okay, so I'm going to walk you guys through how I reverse dye my shirts. So first I'll take my shirt and crumble it up like this. I don't really have a method for it. I just twist it in an outward motion until it's crumpled into one little circle. Next, I'll take my bleach mix and put it on the shirt in a front to back motion. I make sure to really soak the shirt because I really want the orange to pop out. The more that you put the mixture on it, the more it will turn orange. <laughs> I'll do this for however many shirts I have, which I'm doing here. Then I let them sit for 10 minutes and I start a timer. You'll quickly see the shirt turn from black to orange. After the 10 minutes, I'll hose down the shirts and wring them out to remove the bleach formula. Then I wash and dry them as normal in a washing machine. pretty much almost one o'clock now so i think i spent like two and a half to three hours doing the reverse dye itself i'm eating my lunch now this is what i have that's why i was saying like it takes me so long to do the reverse dyeing process like i know that i could speed it up like if i actually just laid out all the shirts like on one huge tarp thing but i don't have that i'm going to eat first because i am hungry then i'm going to probably start working on my orange shirts after that <laughs>
what it is with this design. If you look at the ends here, this one was fine. But then on my previous one, everything else was fine except for this small area. So I don't know if it's like my heat press issue or I'm pretty sure it's my heat press because I kind of trust these screen prints quite a bit. I might need to get a new heat press. I don't know, but it's very inconsistent. Like sometimes it works like this one and then sometimes it doesn't like this one and it just like messes me up all the time. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do now is buy the things that I need for my pop-up. I'm going to just go on Amazon and order the things that I know that I need. So paper bags is one thing and I also need a tablecloth thing. I don't know what they're called. Yeah, I need a tablecloth that um, goes over just the basic table. So what happens at pop-ups, I've only been to one but this is just from my experience. But they give you like one of those foldable tables and they're just very like ugly looking so people usually cover it with a tablecloth i just going to buy a white tablecloth since white goes with everything in case I have like decorations I did check already, I already have thank you cards but I also need to buy business cards so business cards usually I can just buy them from Canva or Vistaprint I'm out of those. I remember last year I didn't bring enough business cards because I actually didn't expect people to buy that much but they actually did and so I ran out of business cards like right away on the very first day so don't make that mistake always bring more than enough business cards you never know how well you'll do at a pop-up market so bring more than enough business cards, thank you cards, inventory, all that stuff This was the day before my market and my launch so the first thing i started with was taking product photos for my website and a few for social media i usually take product photos in a huge photo booth so it was a bit harder for me this time but i didn't have time to set up my photo booth so i just worked with what i had after i pretty much pressed the remainder of my shirts and later that evening i then prepared everything to bring to the market so i didn't have to worry about it in the morning I counted all of my inventory that I'm bringing and placed them in bins. I also ended up bringing a few old designs that I had and these slippers as well. Hey guys, it is currently 7.30 right now. I'm just getting ready for the market today that starts at 10 o'clock. I woke up feeling a bit sick, so that's not a good sign from the star. And today it's supposed to be a bit rainy, which is also not a good thing because the market is mainly outside. It is covered, I think, but it is outside. Markets just do better, I think, when it's sunny out. Everyone is like already inclined to go outside and then they like stop by the market just because they're walking by. Already not exactly a good start to my day. Sorry I look like this, I'm still drying my hair so I'm just getting ready. But yeah, I guess we'll just see how it goes. I don't want to let that like get into my head and feel like this is not going to be a good day. I already got a few sales online without even posting it on my Instagram. So I'm just going to finish getting ready and then get on with the day. <laughs> 